Next in the Meldrew household this Sunday on One. How many times do I have to tell you to pack freshly baked bread on the top? <laughs> Can you believe that? They've lost the left shoe. <laughs> lost it. What's this for? What's it for? Picking my nose with. <laughs> He said he'd only charge me half price. Victor with one foot in the grave, Sunday at five past nine on one. Mature and unmanageable gardens are given a good seeing to on BBC Two now, as Jeff Hamilton and Gay Search provide the solutions to an old garden and new gardener. Here on one, we've more camcorder catastrophes with Shane Ritchie. <laughs> Once more to Court in the Act, the home video show that's fresh. <laughs> the home video show that has pizzazz. The home video show that washes your whites whiter than any other. Well, that's enough of the commercials. Court in the Act is catching on now all over the country. In every corner of the British Isles, intrepid video photographers are rallying to the battle cry of whip out your handhelds. <laughs> camera is now fast becoming a national institution and it's even working its way into our TV ads. Remember this one? Probably the best handheld in the world. <laughs> Take two handhelds into the shower. Not me. <laughs> uh, excuse me, I've just moved into the flat upstairs and I was wondering if I could borrow your handheld. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolates? No, a handheld. Now, those of you that have seen the show before will know that the rules are very simple, and those of you that haven't can have a quick look at this. <laughs> there, that's one rule there, that's a good rule. That's another good one there, because that should, should explain everything you need to know, okay? Now, tonight... <laughs> he caught it, he caught it, by the way. Tonight, <laughs> our budding Cecil B. DeMille's come from the South East, Northern Counties and the Home Counties, and our studio audience here will decide which one of them will win tonight's star prize. And if that's not enough to set your pulses racing, don't forget we have our team of glamorous international correspondents. But before any of this, here's a sample of what is in store. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll be telling you how to send your videos in later in the show, but right now it's time to meet our foreign correspondents. Hello, Rolf in the Netherlands. Good evening, Shane. Good evening. How are you? And in Spain, it's Marisa. Hello, Shane. Muy buenas noches desde España. I am really happy to be here with you in Las Ramblas in Barcelona. It's great to see you. Oh, that's what you look like, an Anita Dobson. <laughs> and from Sweden, it's Agneta. Hello, Shane. Where are you? Oh, I'm not telling you that. Oh, OK. Well, let's see who else is left. In California, it's Marty. Marty, what have hey, you got Shane. there? Oh, two balls. No, the other hand. Oh, and a chainsaw. <laughs> and what are you going to do with them? Right? Well, I'm going to juggle it. Didn't you know, chainsaw juggling was invented over a thousand years ago by the world's very first idiot. Who was that? Venus de Milo. <laughs> well, you know, I've noticed a lot of people in these home videos get themselves into dangerous situations. Like this. Now, don't try this at home. <laughs>
seriously, kids, don't try any of those stunts at home, okay? But right now it's competition time and representing the South East. We've got Gus, Mike, and Stephen! <laughs> How are you, Gus? How are you doing? Welcome. Thank now, you. I understand that you shoot videos for a living. Is that right? Yes. Yes, I do, yeah. And is this one of yours we're going to see? Yes, it is, yes. Good. <laughs> All right, Mike. Hey. Who's caught in the act in your video, then, sir? Colleague of mine, Beryl Clark. Could see it coming, couldn't you? Right, Stephen. Who's the two of you caught out in your video, then, sir? My two brother-in-laws, Bill and Dave. and all three of them have won £250, but only one can go through to our final, and it's time now for our studio audience here, if we can sober them up, to vote. <laughs> Remember, it's Gus with the bridesmaid, Mike with the rope swing, and Stephen with the slide collapsing. So get ready to vote, and press your buttons now. <laughs> And the winner is Stephen! Yeah. Well done, Stephen, you've won £250 and a state-of-the-art home video editing suite and a place in our final later on in the show. Well done, Steve! Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> now to Spain and it's Marisa! Hola, Marisa! Hello, Shane. Well, here I am in Las Ramblas in Barcelona. And this is the place where everybody meets. And you know what they say? They say that if you wait long enough, you actually meet somebody that you know here. How do you know who I know? <laughs> oh, look, look, there's my Auntie Beryl. Hello, Beryl. Yes. Look, Marissa, wait till, wait till I come over on Thursday. Is that all right? Why, that's too long. I can't wait till Thursday. I have a lot of parties to go to. Oh, look, look, there's, a, look there's a bit of traffic. Oh, there's my Auntie Mary. Look, listen, when I get over, we'll have a party, all right? I'll have a party with you. <laughs> well, right. you know that we Spanish, we love a bit of a fiesta. And we'll dance, we'll do anything to dance. We'll dance with a drop of a sombrero. Just take a look at some of these videos, Shane.
Kylie Minogue's man. Now, I don't know whether any of you got any granny quite like that at home, but if you have, you could make some money. Whip out your handheld, film out, and call us on free phone. 0800 555 831. That's 0800 555 831. Now, you lot stop it, all right? But now, to tonight's competition, here are three more contestants from the north, and they are Tim, Arthur, and Ian. <laughs> Tim, I won't shake down, I'll shake because you've got a sore, sore hand there, have not you? Uh, who are the stars on your video show then, Tim? That's my eldest daughter, Charlotte, and her cousin, George. See, a few smackers on videos puts 250 smackers in your pocket. See, very simple. Now, Arthur, who is on your... Oh, hang on, Arthur, well, didn't you used to be a, a cab driver? I did, yes. Yeah, hold on a second. Is this better? Who's in your video? <laughs> uh, my daughter and myself. Great. Good one. Special tuition now. Your videos are a bit funny. I mean, the bloke in your video is so hopeless and pathetic. Who is it? Me. You're so bad that you've qualified to represent the British team in the Winter Olympics. It's a book on fencing. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> now, right now, it's time to vote. Now, they've all won £250 and well deserved they got that. But only one of them can win a place in the big final. So, which one will it be? Tim with his canoodling kiddies, Arthur with his belly flop, or Ian with his skis in the fence. Time for our studio audience to vote, so press your buttons now. <laughs> And the winner is Ian. You've won £250 and a whole minute suite and a place in tonight's big final. Well done, Ian. Over now, across the water to Rolf in Amsterdam. Hello, Rolf. Hello, Shane. Listen, Rolf, do me a favour and tell me the truth now. Be honest with me. Am I a household name in the Netherlands? Mm. Not quite, but the people do like to watch your shows because it helps them to learn proper English. <laughs> really? You wind me up? Well, oh, that's true. Now, me old cocker, polish up your mince pies and have a butcher's hook at this old lump of house <laughs> <laughs> And now, something completely different because I didn't really know what I was saying. <laughs> it's about animals. I know that in the UK you are renowned for your wildlife films, but I wonder if any of these animals would make it on screen.
turkey chops, but that is ridiculous. Now it's time to meet our last three contestants. And they're all way from the home counties, and they are Christopher, Dave, and Paul. Yes! <laughs> Good to see you, Chris. Oh, what a grip. That's a good grip, that is great. Now the nation is ready to view your video masterpiece. You ready? Ready? Have a look at this. <laughs> Welcome, Dave. Evening. And tell us who stars in your epic then, mate. My little nephew, Richard. Now, I do I believe that the next one is an action-packed video you've bought us. Is that right? And right. who's the star? A friend of mine called Richard and a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> left in the final it's now time for our studio audience here to choose who will it be will it be chris with the pony dave's nephew trying to open the box or paul with the demon donkey time to vote press your buttons wait for it now <laughs> Winner is Dave. Yeah. You've got your 250 pounds the home editing suite and the last place in tonight's big final. Well done. Yes. Well done, Dave. Now there's one of our foreign correspondents still waiting to talk to us, and it's Agneta. Are you there in Stockholm? And yet... Shane, Shane, excuse me, Shane, over here. It's naughty, Marty Kim, live on satellite, ladies and gentlemen. What about that? And what, and what exo exotic location are you in, Marty? Bondi Beach, Texas, with that hat or something? Milton Keynes, actually. Oh. Now, I've got to be quick, Shane. I've only put 50p in my meter. Now, listen, I need some videos, and I want to borrow your audience for a bit. Oh, yeah, looks like some of the blokes might have landed on their feet here. Right, Shane, the running out. I want to tell you about my great new show that's coming out on BBC One. So what show's that, Marty? I'm doing Joker in the Pack, and we're going round the country getting members of the public to tell us jokes. And we've got loads, but what we need are some videos of speeches being made in front of a lot of people. You know, like, best man at a wedding, or someone opening a fete, or school prize giving day, that sort of thing. You know, I made a speech in front of a lot of people once, Marty. Oh, did you? What did you say? Not guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, what do you want me to do with these videos? I'll tell you what, I'll bring them round to your house. Is that a good idea? Can uh, I do uh, it? Uh, well, no, that's the other thing, Shane. I want to borrow your free phone number. Not 0800 555 831. Yes, 0800 555 831. <laughs> yes. If you've got a funny speech you can let us use, all you have to do is call us on that number and we'll do the rest. Thanks, Shane. Oh, thank you very much. She's good, that Marty Kay, isn't she? Not as good as her son Michael, but I think she is. <laughs> Not a lot of people know that. I don't know whether I'm coming or going now. Listen, <laughs> I suppose we've lost Agneta. Well, Agneta, are you there? Really? Hello? Uh, uh, in my ear? Uh, I don't believe she's not in Stockholm. She, what, she's here in the studio? Whoa, you lucky people! Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Agneta! <laughs> I've gone all shy and stupid now, haven't I? <laughs> and yet, can I say welcome to Britain? Thank you. It's so nice to see you and feel you. And although... <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> although, although uh, 
um, what, what, I, I what, expected what? you to be a little bit taller, actually. No, I am. I'm six foot. No, I'm six foot. See, I'm six foot because on television, though, see, television, it makes me look a, a lot, you know, smaller. But in real life, I'm, I'm six foot. Listen, uh, what do you want to do after the show? Uh, I'd really like to go out and have a typical English meal. OK, yeah, OK. What do you fancy? Pizza? Curry? Chow mein? <laughs> How about some spaghetti? Would you like that? Uh, couldn't we have some steak or kidney pod or bangers and mash or what do you say? Do you say that? <laughs> I, I'd probably... Bangers and mash. Oh, ba bangers and mash. Uh, yeah, oh, well, you know, well, there's only one place, you know, left that, we can, that serves food like that. Oh. You know where that is? Uh, no. Stockholm. Oh. That's where you're from Sweden, aren't you? Yeah, I yeah. am. Can you hear the drums, Fernando? Oh. <laughs> Go on, go on, tell what, what have you got for us? Oh, Mama it's very Mia. cold and snowy in Sweden at the again. moment, so we've my, all my. been out on the piece. Just have a look at this. to find out who will be the overall winner of tonight's competition. Now, our three finalists are Stephen from Essex, Ian from Stockport, and Dave from Hearts. <laughs> but, as always, only one of them can walk away with this star prize. Yes, tonight's star prize, this Nikam Digital Stereo Colour Television. You won't believe that your favourite television programmes could look and sound so good when you watch them on tonight's fabulous Star Prize here on Corks in the Act! What a great television that is. That is unique, you know. That is unique because that television's got John Logie Baird's thumbprint on it. Anyway, we're going to have a vote now, although we don't need it because I already know who's won. Because it's one of these three. Our studio audience will cast their votes, but before they do, here's a chance for you at home to make your own mind up. <laughs> OK. Ready for our studio audience here to vote? Are you ready to vote? Now, all those votes have been locked in here into my do 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 computer. Now we're going to try and split the audience up and find out how you have voted. First of all, let's see, okay, let's see how the men over 20 voted. Let's see what their favourite was. Oh, 30 goes to Ian there, Skid. 33, that's close with Stephen. And just a slight lead there with Dave. With his nephew trying to open the box. Holy dead, but let's go now for the women. The women, I say the ladies, not the women, the ladies over 20. Let's see how the ladies over 20 voted. 25% of the ladies liked Ian with a ski in defense. 28 to Stephen, but once again, <laughs> you ladies like Dave with 47%. Now, those that are under 20, my age group, under 20. <laughs> Let's see how they voted. All the under 20s, 24% went to Ian and the ski in the fence. 26 to Seaman. And it looks like to me a staggering 50% for Dave. Well, I think it's a sore away, but let's put all them scores into the computer. And in third place, with 79, is Ian. In second place, is Stephen with 87. But far away with 134.
most hit for tonight. Keep sending your videos in to us because we'll pay £250 for every one we show. All you have to do is pick up the phone. You did. did you did. did. I did, yeah. I did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dial free phone 0800 5... Will you stop that? 0800 555 831. And perhaps you've already got one that could be something just a little bit like this. <laughs> Concert now. But that's all we've got time for tonight. Hopefully you'll join me and we'll see you next week on Court in the Act. is one of the programmes under discussion by the Biteback team on Sunday afternoon at 4.25 when Julian Pettifer puts BBC programme makers in the hot seat. Fashion features, cosmetic surgery, the facts of life and going to university are just some of the subjects under the scrutiny of Victoria Wood now, as seen on BBC Two. We may have an Agnes problem. What sort of problem? Gladys uncovers a murder, but no one will take her seriously. Now she's going on a long journey. Mrs. Moon, I have a message for you. Moon and Sun, tomorrow at ten past eight. Miles apart, and love hurts even more. This ain't right.